The source filter model of speech production tells us that the shape of the vocal tract is really important in producing the output speech sound, giving information about who is speaking as well as what is being said. But until recently, shape, particularly 3D shape, has been difficult to quantify robustly. In this paper, I introduced the technique of geometric morphometrics applied to MRI data for the vocal tract. Geometric morphometrics was developed in biology to quantify anatomical shapes using a set of landmarks. First, the shapes are rigidly aligned and scaled. And after this, each shape can be represented as a single observation in a shape space, allowing us to perform robust statistical analyses. The aim of this study is to introduce the method for vocal tract shapes and determine whether it provides enough useful information to be worthy of further study. In particular, I'm interested in whether it can tell us anything new about vocal tract shape and whether the vocal tract shape correlates with acoustic features in the resulting speech. I used 3D MRI data of the vocal tracts of eight subjects producing a schwa valve and placed landmarks throughout the vocal tract and associated anatomical structures. A range of landmarks were selected in 3D, including a number on the mid-sagittal plane, which you can see here. In order to look for correlations between the vocal tract shape and audio data, I also used geometric morphometrics to quantify the shape of the speech spectra. This was done because the process scales the vocal tract shapes to have the same approximate size. And since vocal tract size is encoded in the audio spectrum, it was necessary to also normalize the acoustic features to control for vocal tract size. Once the populations of vocal tract and spectral shapes were created, exploratory statistical analyses were performed. Principal component analysis revealed that the first three shape PCs are responsible for over three quarters of shape variation, with the first PC accounting for 45.57% alone. Investigating the shapes associated with the maximum and minimum of each PC revealed that the shapes of different structures within the vocal tract tended to co-vary. And ANOVA revealed that over half of the shape variation could be attributed to subject sex, vocal tract size, or the interaction between sex and size and a two-block partial least squares analysis revealed a correlation of 0.774 between shape and size, suggesting a potential allometric relationship. Finally, I performed a two-block partial least squares analysis to look for correlations between the vocal tract shapes and the shapes of the spectra of the associated audio. This revealed a correlation of 0.712. Please note that none of the results I've described reached significance, probably due to the small sample size. Nevertheless, they suggest that the method is worthy of further exploration. In conclusion, this study has shown that geometric morphometrics is a viable method for quantifying the shape of the vocal tract. I'm currently expanding the study to a much larger data set to address research questions about the nature of individual vocal tract shape variations. Thank you for listening.